Pete here at Works 45 out at Utah Motorsports Campus. Today we're going to show you how to apply Flexo Super Duty to your hoses and wiring looms. The tools you're going to need for this job are a hot knife, a heat gun, a pair of scissors, and a pair of flush cuts. Step one in this project is going to be to cut your Flexo Super Duty to length using our hot knife, which will give you a nice clean cut and cauterize the end. If you cut this product with scissors, you're going to end up with unusable frayed ends. Now that we've got our piece cut to length, the next thing we're going to do is apply it to the component that we want to protect. As you push it on, it starts to expand and allows it to slide over easily. We call this the inchworm technique. The final step to applying your Flexo Super Duty is to finish the end. And there's three methods to do this. The first way to finish off your Flexo Super Duty is to run it up to the end of your component and leave it there. You have the cauterized end, which will keep it from fraying. The risk you run is that it could be slid back down your component. The second method to finish off your Flexo Super Duty is to run it up to the end of your component and put a zip tie on the end. This is a very reliable method, but not as clean as our third method. The third method to finish off our Flexo Super Duty application is to use a piece of shrink wrap, which is going to be the cleanest and most reliable method. To execute our shrink wrap method, we're going to run our Flexo Super Duty about a quarter inch from the end of our component, slide over the piece of shrink wrap, and then we'll use the heat gun to evenly apply heat and shrink the shrink wrap, and you're done. Thanks for watching our how to video on Flexo Super Duty. Check out the website for other how to videos.